I did a series of videos recently on installing CPUs and I covered AM2, AM3, 775, 1156 and I just realized I never did 1366. So I'm going to walk you through the procedure to install a CPU in socket 1366. So this is Intel's x58 platform. The board I'll be demoing today is the ASUS Rampage 3 Extreme. So the first thing you want to do, you see it's got a protective cover over the pins here. That's to keep the very fragile pins inside the socket from being damaged because the CPU itself itself only has pads. You can actually touch the bottom of a CPU. It's not the best thing to do, but uh, you could. There, I showed you. I did it. And, um, and it won't be nearly as easy to damage as something like the CPU socket. So, oh, my camera keeps focusing on that RAM. So I'm going to just sort of shift my angle here and see if I can get it to focus on the socket. So, the first thing you want to do is push down on this arm, this lever here, and then pull it away from the socket. So here, I'm going to do a close-up there so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm taking that arm and I'm pulling it out away from the socket and lifting it up, just like that. Okay, so that loosens this little piece right here, which is what actually keeps the CPU or the holder uh, firmly in place. Then you just press on this little spot right here and lift up the cover. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to always something attach the cover when the CPU is not installed. Yeah, that's to protect this socket. So then you pick this up and let me see if I can find which one is the labeled one. Yeah, this says remove. So you hold it by these two pieces right here and then you lift up that side, pull the whole thing out. And that's where you see 1,336 pins. You touch those even with something as, as uh, delicate as like a, a fiber from your shirt. You can easily bend a pin or even rip them. They are very, very fragile. So the next thing you're going to do is take your 1366 CPU, which has two notches, one here, focus, focus, one here, and one over here. You'll line that up with the two notches in the socket, which are here and here, and then you put the CPU in. Be very careful to line up the corners and never do this while you're looking at the socket through a camera. Always be looking directly at the socket. Do as I say, not as I do. So I always give the CPU a bit of a wiggle just to make sure it's seated correctly because if it's in there crooked, like if it's sitting like this and you go and, and put the cover down on it and secure it, you're just going to bend the heck out of your socket. So you just take that, put it in. There's no force involved. You just kind of give it a bit of a wiggle. There you go. So then you pull down this cover. And you can see that the pressure that holds the CPU in is actually from these two spots right here. So those two will press down on the heat spreader of the CPU right in the middle. Then you'll take this arm and it, this requires some force. So you push it down, put it under the, oh, that was bad. Let's make sure that's still in there okay, yep. Pull it down, put it under the hook, there you go. You have installed the CPU in your 1366 motherboard. You are a computer technician. Thank you for watching my blog. Don't forget to subscribe. Lots more updates and unboxings to come.